Hey what's up YouTube this is Imanj from TechPortal and many people are asking which is the best room for Samsung Galaxy G7 2015 variant after Marshmallow update and we have now stock rooms, stock debloated, S5 room, Note 7 Grace UI version 1 and we have also this A5 version 3 and I am using this room for more than 4 to 5 days and really I want to recommend you to use this room as the best room for Samsung Galaxy G7 till date here you can see that I am using Galaxy A5 room and this is the version 3 the latest version and it is currently running on Optimax 4.0 it means you will get a good speed because Optimax kernel is specially designed by our developers of G7 to get a good balance between a performance and battery so I recommend you to use this and if you are running on any other you can use this ROM and kernel easily just flash it by TWRP and here you can see that I have installed many of the it means around Facebook, Messenger, Instagram, Twitter, my YouTube studio and all the apps are still running in the background here you can see lots of apps let me show you that my facebook is still in the memory i think yeah it is still in the memory and and i also want to tell you that for saving battery i am using this greenify but in this i have not hibernated the apps like facebook messenger because after hibernating i will really get a good battery backup but still I have not selected these apps because uh, it is for my daily purpose and I also recommend you to use this ROM for daily purpose. Let me show you the battery backup and you can see that uh, my battery is around at 45% and I can still use it around 11 hours and I really want to tell you that I get around a 1 or 2 day battery backup if I am on Wi-Fi and if I am using 4G you will get a battery backup of around more than 20 hours and this is sufficient and I never see any type of lag I am using Greenify and PowerNap to save battery and it is the best combination with the A5 ROM and let's check how much RAM we have available so here we have around 297 and I really don't know why it is always more than 300 even after here you can see that lots of apps are opening like Facebook UC browser page manager I am here getting little type of lag maybe it is because it is now downloading some updates so here we have apps and the interface is really as if we compare it with other rooms which is available for J7 like CM13, Resurrection Remix and Note 7 it is not based on Grace UI it has simple apps but some of the Grace UI features and it is fully DODX and debloated it means all the blotwares which is added by the Samsung has been completely removed so let's check so if you go in this settings you will not get any type of blotwares like I have also removed my smart manager and like other security log agents which really slows my phone and the apps like Google if you want really want a good battery backup just remove these system blotwares by downloading apps like system app remover from the play store now still you can see it is running very smoothly and we have these features so so guys this was a quick review with the A5 ROM because I really want to do this because I have got many requests for the best ROM for Samsung Galaxy J7 you are also confused and the second of which you can also use in your J7 is the S5 version 3.1 by Molontic it is also a bugless ROM as the A5 ROM and the S5 version 3.1 these are the two stable ROMs which you can use till now and I also want to tell you that soon I am going to upload Note 7 version 2 ROM maybe today or in this week so stay tuned with my channel so this was a quick review with the A5 version 3.1 sorry 3 for the Samsung Galaxy J7 I hope you really like this video and if you did a like will be appreciated and for more videos like this you can subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button down below as always I see you in the next video thank you